Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have been covering a lot of tools where we extract information from PDF files and output is normally in a structured format, primarily in JSON, which is quite suited for API based applications. The whole idea why this area is getting so popular and AI is being used to extract information, especially from PDF files is that lot of organizations, lot of enterprises have hundreds of thousands of PDF files stored in lot of different repositories. All of them want LLMs to have access to those PDF files and the best way of doing it is through RAG. But RAG doesn't simply work with those PDF files. You have to first convert those PDF files into some sort of structured format so that they could be turned into embeddings or vectors and store get stored in a vector store. In order for that to happen, you have to extract that information intelligently. And what better is there than AI to do so? That is why tools like Docling, mark it down and heaps of others which we already have covered on the channel have gained so much popularity nvidia ingest is one such tool now i was in double minds to cover this tool simply because of the reason that it requires lot of uh, cost to run plus it is not possible for everyone to get it installed locally and play around with it only if you have hundreds of thousands of PDF files scattered throughout your organization and your scale is huge, only then this tool makes sense. Just to give you an idea why I am saying that, look at this uh, screen, which is from their own repo. Even for a simple setup, you would need at least two NVIDIA GPU cards and each card should be of at least 80 GB. Now in real world, I have um, come to know that sometimes you even need more in order for it to run in a simple, simple way, which I'm very surprised why is that case? I mean, why can't we have a trimmed down version to run it locally, even on one NVIDIA ATGP uh, VRAM? So why do we need a multi GPU cluster sort of thing in order to just test it out? The good thing is that it is Apache 2 license. So if you have um, requirement at a huge scale, you have access to a multi GPU cluster. Then what I'm going to do in this video, I am going to give you a step by step um, tutorial as how you can get it installed locally. And then you can install it, use it, and then maybe just give it, give us a shout out if you get it working with the help of this tutorial. But if you're implementing it, and uh, so I'm very, very keen to hear your thoughts, your experience. Please share it in the comments. So going back to the repo in very, very simple words, let's have a first quick look as what exactly this tool is. It's a microservice. So it means that it is Docker or container based. This microservice is designed for extracting content and metadata efficiently from hundreds of thousands of documents not only from PDF, but also Microsoft Word document, PowerPoint. Behind the scene, it uses NVIDIA name microservices to efficiently parse and extract text, table, charts, and images, which makes it ideal for downstream application. Now, we already have covered NVIDIA name on the channel. NVIDIA name primarily provides container to self-host or used hosted AI models for conversational AI. And it is a service from NVIDIA, which we already have covered on the channel. So if you're interested, just search with NVIDIA name. NVIDIA ingest splits documents into pages, classifies content, and then uses OCR or optical character recognition to convert it into a structured JSON format. It can also compute embeddings for the extracted content and stores them in a vector database, which could be of your choice, such as Milvus. The service supports various extraction method to balance throughput and accuracy, such as PDFEM, unstructured IO, Adobe content extraction services for PDF. And it also offers pre and post processing operations, including text splitting, filtering and embedding generation. So 
seems like a really good service no doubt about that but it's a heavyweight it is not for uh, mere models like us to get it installed and play around with it but that is fine that is a lay of the land now let me take you to my vs code and i will show you step by step as how exactly you can get it installed so first up you would need three pre prerequisites as you can see on your screen and don't worry about these i'm going to give you the link of these steps in video's description make sure that you have a recent version of docker installed then you would need the ngc api uh, key which is an nvidia cloud and for that you would need to go to ngc.nvidia.com and then from there you would need to grab your api key and it would look something like this now i don't even have credit for it this video is not sponsored by nvidia in any sense i don't have any credits i tried to have it um, last year but i have run out of it and it's very expensive so i really don't have any means to get it um, get the api key but even if i had the api key for some reason um, i won't be able to run it because i don't have multi gpu cluster with me anyway so but even if you have these two things the third thing is the bummer where you because it's very very early project so you would need to apply for this early access at nvidia and that is where i have seen many people getting stuck so anyway so hopefully you will get the access and then you can once you have it you can get uh, get it working so assuming you meet all of these prerequisites and by the way if you don't know how to install docker please search my channel i already have done a very easy to understand video on it so second step so there are two phases of it first you would need to configure nvidia ingest server and the phase two will be to configure the client so in the phase one which is configuring the ingest server which takes bulk of the load and all this multi gpu cluster first you would be cloning the repo and go into the repo then you would need to log into the docker hub uh, which is nvcr uh, which is from nvidia of course and this is the docker repository this should be the username don't change it but make sure you give the password as your ngc api key and then uh, this is very important step make sure that nvidia set as your default container runtime simply run this command and then this is all you need to do to run docker compose up and this takes around 10 to 20 minutes first time when you run it it downloads a lot of stuff and then it uh, starts everything so once everything starts then you know you can access it through your client and client configuration is again a bit of a i would not say it's that easy so for that first of course you would need to set up a virtual environment they recommend conda so create this virtual environment from the yaml file they provide from the root of the repo it's the same repo by the way run it from the root of the, that repo activate that conda environment install all the prerequisites in the editable format and then there are two ways you can start using it first through cli second there is a python code which they also have on their github repo which is very simple python code where primarily what you do you give it your documents then you give it the directory where you want the documents to be and then what sort of document is that and then your extract method pdfem or adobe or whatever and then what you want to do do you want to extract tables to images to then give it through and then it is going to start it at your local host at port 7670 once everything is done this is where you can find the output in the text or image subfolder inside your repo and then this is your process to, uh, sorry in the text and image subfolder in the process docs which is also in the root of the repo so this is all you need to do in order to get it working i know it's a mouthful but look this is a lay of the land and uh, it's none of my doing hopefully nvidia will also try to make these things accessible to masses it would be really good but this is a tool looks really cool hopefully one day we would be able to get it installed on commodity gpus and then i will make another video and show you the hands-on that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you very much